Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. In the previous episode, I was having quite a bit of trouble on this level, but after a lot of editing, and I mean a lot of editing and cutting and such, I've pretty much had just, just had to split this level in a couple parts, so... Forgive me for, uh... Split this level in a couple parts, but the levels are getting a lot longer, a lot more difficult. Yeah, I'm going this way, screw that. Oh my god, we got another stupid pain to deal with. Oh yeah, it's the one that looks like, uh, Randy Savage. Oh shit, really? I don't know why, like, I always see this painting as Rain Savage. There we go. What the hell? Oh, okay. I thought it, like, ported us over there. I was being very confused and, uh, a little uncomfortable. What, uh, what power was that? Uh, yeah, I'll take that, I guess. Only have three magic to do it, but, you know. It's the whip. And yeah, more magic. This level's very rough, to say the least. This level's been kicking my ass quite a bit. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's the next to last level, so it only makes sense to be so difficult. We can like, come back and show us her. Yes, we can. She's not very much of help, though, at the moment since she's almost dead. Ugh, God, this is gonna be rough. Oh no. <laughs> I thought I could make that jump, but I guess I jumped uh, too late. That's awesome. Well, might as well just do this then. I'm kind of tempted to fly through this crap, but I guess we'll use Gabelle here and try to make these jumps. Oh god. Oh, it's too pixie! No! Ooh, save myself. Save myself right the last moment there. Ooh. Very, very, very close save. I thought I died. Holy shit. That was... That was intense, for sure. I don't remember who the boss of this level was, actually. I swear to God, this is the last level. I'm gonna be, like, freaking out. I'm not ready for this. Not tonight, at least. Maybe tomorrow, but not tonight. Definitely not tonight. I've, I've had way too rough of a day. Way, way too rough of a day. Plus, that, I mean, that's like the end of this Let's Play. That would kind of suck, you know? This was the last week till uh through October and be the end of the let's play, like that's not good. That's no good! Oh god. I'm just gonna keep flying. Not even about to deal with any of that crap. Huh. No thanks. Oh god shit. It's kind of weird looking on the edge here. There we go. I was gonna say, I know she makes farther jumps and. or further jumps, I guess. Oh god, stupid Medusa heads. 
Yeah, I know, it's not what he says, they're like eyeball monster things, but... They do the same, like, pattern as the Medusa heads. Plus, it's kind of burned into my, uh... Into my PTSD, I guess. So, might as well be Medusa heads. To be forever to be the first Castlevania. That pattern stuck with me ever since. Oh shit, really? It's funny, I, I, it took me forever to beat Castlevania 1, but, like, I'm still not the best at that game. I mean, I'm not bad at all, I'm pretty good at that game, actually, but I'm not, like, speedrunner good. Damn it. Really? Seriously, dude, get out of here. Is there any health around here? Nope. Whole lot of nope. Got plenty of magic. Got more than enough magic, actually. Yeah, sorry to cut out some of that, uh, some of the video from the last session, I guess. I, I just... Having such a difficult time with this level. It's really getting on my nerves and pissing me off. I don't really remember this guy at all. Oh god, okay. Look okay, out, vaguely. Oh god, I remember this guy now. Huh! I remember this guy. Shit! Yeah, I remember you, buddy. This guy's fun to fight, actually. Pretty cool boss. Ow. Damn it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to have, I'm kinda trying to have to concentrate here, but like It's kinda it's difficult to rock good commentary. Oh shit. Okay. It's hard to rock good commentary and like concentrate at the same time, I guess. Yeah, this guy's really cool. He reminds me of like a Dragon Ball Z character or something. With like the super fast... The super fast attacks he has and stuff. I can totally see him being like a Dragon Ball Z villain or something. Woo! I think we gotta do this and then jump out of the way at the last second. Yep. Excellent. Thank God that level's like done. That that level gave me complete hell on earth. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah, I was I was gonna say if that's the last level, I'm definitely not not Yeah, this is the last level. Okay, here we go. Now as you guys see that's a there's a question mark there. Oh yeah, curse of the moon, stage eight. Now as you guys saw there was a question mark there and there's a reason why there's a question mark there. Um, I I don't want to give it away, but we'll we'll explore that later on the uh, the second playthrough of this game, and I'll explain more as we go through the second playthrough of this game. It is now 12:32 a.m. Um, I've been awake since 7 a.m. this morning. No, I'm sorry, 6:30 a.m. this morning. I'm exhausted. And my throat is wanting to give out, and I'm getting kind of raspy here, so I'm just going to go ahead and call this a session. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like and or subscribing, it helps the channel out tremendously. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I feel like I'm sleep talking here. But, um, kind of on autopilot. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's not the sleep talking. <laughs> I really do appreciate it, uh, but I hope you guys are really enjoying this series. It's halfway over. I want to say it's halfway over after we beat this level, uh, but again, if you guys want my leaving a like and subscribing, it would totally help the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys next, next time. Oh, excuse me. Whew. See you guys next time. Until then, keep it cosmic.